give me life. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, and oh my god, I'm looking really white. Anyway, oh, and I need a haircut, which we are going to go get today. But it's a new barber's. I mean, it's right around the corner, but I am very particular with my haircuts. Um, usually, I just get a low fade with a trim on the top, uh, since a lot of you have been asking. But um, it's quite far away since I've moved where I'm living now. There's no real good barbers in the area, so I've had to drive like an hour away each time. And even then, it's still not the best. Um, so I'm going to risk this one today, um, see how it goes. I mean, honestly, I mean, how much damage is going to do? I'm in control, but we'll see how that is. Um, and yeah, I've just uh, got a day. Um, running some admin stuff. We've got a big shoulders and biceps workout later, which I'm going to take you through. And I'm going to take you through my training routine and give you a little insight onto what I do. Um, since a lot of you guys have been asking. But anyway, let's crack on with the day. And uh, I'm about to have another coffee, I think. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm still doing the sound effects, but I've just got to the gym. No, I haven't got to the gym. I've just got to the hairdressers. And if you're a guy and you know going to a new hairdressers is a stressful situation, you know, they're tr you're, you're entrusting someone with your look, your everything, your identity. Okay, I'm being dramatic here, but you know, I hold my uh, hair as a part of me. I'm just talking shit how I'm procrastinating going in. But wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. And there it is. You know, it's not too bad. I give it six out of ten. Six out of ten. I didn't. I told them literally. As okay, I was like, don't, don't take that much off. Don't touch it. Don't do uh, anything too extravagant. But yeah, it's all right. Considering this is literally thirty seconds from my house, it's okay. I can't wait to go back to my normal barbers. But anyway. I'm hungry now, I think it's around lunchtime. It's only 11. <laughs> lunchtime, um, so we'll go home. I've uh, got some editing to do, but um, yeah, I'll show you what I have for lunch. All right guys, so re-evaluating uh, my hair, I give it a four out of 10. Yeah, I came home, looked at it a bit more. It's just not. That great. I, I didn't get that feeling of like leaving the haircut, uh, hairdressers, and being like, I am a beautiful flower. Felt a bit unsure. But anyway, I'm uh, making some lunch. Got some uh, red rice on the stove. Um, I'm mixing up from my new normal jasmine rice because um, yeah, I just got a little bit bored of it. And a parcel came from Legend London. Um, I'm gonna be doing some work alongside them soon. So in the upcoming Instagram posts and videos, you'll see some collaborations um, and I will do some reviews on their clothes cause quick glance, they're looking pretty good. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make uh, the rest of this food now. I've got some chicken in the oven uh, and I'll show you what it looks like. And here we have it guys. Look at the beauty which is this meal. I mean, I've been having this every day and I absolutely love it. It's 80 grams of dry red rice, 170 grams of chicken, barbecue sauce, 50 grams of avocado, and a rosemary focus. No, it's not gonna focus, cracker. Um, this has been my staple lunch alongside uh, meal three, having the wraps. Just eating the same thing, you know, about 3,100 calories, um, keeping carbs at around 350, 375. Um, leaning out a little bit which is good after the inconsistencies of uh, December feeling good feeling back on my grind we've got a big shoulders and bicep workout later but uh, I've got a lot of admin stuff to do now um, and then we're gonna go through my routine and things like that but I'm absolutely starving I'm gonna eat this now and I'll see you in a bit I feel like I've been sitting at this desk for a while now but this is my setup at the moment got my computer which I built uh, from scratch, if you don't know that about me, I do like to build my own computers. My brother, huge influence when I was younger. He, um, you know, he's into computers. He does that as a job. Um, a bit more technical than that. But, yeah, this is my setup now. It's where I spend most of my day. I'm just trying to find some music 
uh, for my Instagram video and that is pretty much like what I do <laughs> this is what I spend half the time just finding music and for everyone who's asking I literally just type in like no copyright sounds or like beats into uh, YouTube and then just use the best one yeah <laughs> but um, yeah going on workout routines and everything like that, a lot of people have been asking me what mine is well let me tell you, we're gonna get nice and comfortable here. Ah, oh, I think this is a good little spot. So when it comes to my routine, my routine is pretty simple. I aim to hit every muscle group twice a week. Now, uh, commitments during the week can change and I might not be able to train one day or I could train every day of the week. Um, but my general approach to my training is I always mix it up. Um, so one week I'll do a certain one, the other week I'll do other one so the one I'm doing currently is Monday chest and back uh, Tuesday shoulders and arms then I'll do legs um, then I'll do back again uh, and this is going in the order of the days uh, then I'll do uh, chest shoulders and then I'll do legs again and then have the Sunday off another um, one that I do is I'll start with legs, then I'll do push pull, then legs again. Um, I just do overall legs. I don't really focus either too much on hamstrings, too much on the quads. Just overall do them, uh, and then I'll finish on the Friday as just upper body, and then do like some cardio on the weekend if I don't if I have in the weekend off from like weights. Um, and that's the principles in my training plans as well. You know, each week is different it's never the same thing like i do believe in progressive overload but so many people get the term progressive overload wrong they think that you have to do the same movement for the same weight or just a little bit more each time um each time and that's the only definition of progressive overload but it isn't progressive overload can be anything it can be adding a bit more intensity uh slowing down the rep by half a second doing jump squats after a big set of squats you know you're pushing yourself you're increasing the intensity of each session that's how my plans work you know they get harder every week and they push you um and that's what i aim um to do uh, with myself and with my guides um people just get so caught up on thinking that progressive overload is just adding weight and you need to do these boring routines that are just simple basic movements and I you know it does work for some people but honestly it just gets a bit boring um like when I'm in the gym I like to push myself I like to be sweating and I like to be like out of breath I don't want to be that guy that does one set just sits around you know you want to be when you go into the gym you train with intensity you train with purpose um you know and my routines the basis of them surround what I just told you with the occasional Metcon session you know I'll do like a minimum of one one a week uh, I'll put that up on my next video as well because uh, today's shoulders and arms uh, so this weekend I'll get in a Metcon for you guys um, but yeah you know I, I just wanted to it's not a rant but just wanted to let you guys know and um, what my routine is because I've got a lot of questions um, but yes uh, that's pretty much my routine, I stick to those principles. Uh, I train everything twice a week. Um, and yeah, when you go into the gym, you just train hard and you'll get results, you do it well. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm just chilling now. I'm just gonna finish off the edits uh, over there in my office. Um, just waiting for Domi to get home and then we're gonna take some pre-workout and go train. So I'll see you when we're taking some pre-workout. So we are taking the pre-workout. Uh, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I've now partnered with my protein, and we are actually no, we're taking the pump tonight because it's quite late, um, and we just want a nice little pump. What do we want? Snack. Snack. Yes. Yeah. Pre-workout pump. Same thing. Now the gym is going to be pretty busy now. Uh, but I'll try and get a few clips, it's shoulders and biceps. I'm gonna down this now, and then we're gonna go. I'll see you in the car. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> drink it. <laughs> Do you feel pumped, sir? 
I feel, I feel alive. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got to the gym. The pre-workout, uh, so I actually took a bit of extra caffeine, so I'm feeling the bars at 7pm. Probably won't see, sleep, but that is the sacrifice we make. That is the sacrifice we make for the gains and all the energy. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit over the top here, but you know, anyway. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, share with something with you guys as well. So, oh, oh, is it going to work? There you go. Is that there? Babe, swipe down. Hey, we have just hit 400k. If you are not following me on there, follow me on there because I do loads of uh, workouts and extra stuff. But we're going to go train now um, and hopefully get some clips. It's looking busy in there because it's prime time. But we don't care. We're going to smash it. You can tell I'm very influenced. He said, which much people workout. Yeah, I've had too much pre work. Alright, let's go in the gym. Oh, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ Ack, now I got a roll with ice. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ Ack, now I got a roll with ice. Ride or die, 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 ride or die. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly. So that's the session done. Dome is just burning out on some bands. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. It wasn't the best. I didn't feel that good. I thought I was gonna go in strong, but you know, first exercise didn't go down too well. I uh, really struggled getting the 45s up, so I had to go down to the 42s, and even then they felt so heavy. Uh, but you're always gonna have days like this, you know. Not every day you can come in and be the strongest. But what you got to do, you just got to push through. Don't let it. Don't go home. Don't let it deter you. Just keep pushing through. Lighten the weight. Go for contraction. Because any workout's better than no workout. But anyway, we're tired. Yeah. Good job, babe. Thanks. We're gonna go home and get some post-workout grub. So, see you at home. We are home and uh, I'm just having my post-workout shake. Having the clear way from my protein is awesome. It's literally just like juice. Um, it's like hydrolyzed whey. Uh, and I'm having five grams of creatine in that and then I'm gonna make my post-workout meal. But yeah, I'm crashing pretty hard. That was not a good session. Well, uh, well, it was good, but it wasn't like, it wasn't a groundbreaking one. I didn't break any numbers, you know. I was, wasn't feeling that great. Everything was a bit, of a struggle compared to what it used to be, like I said, in the gym. But we push through, so you're not always gonna be your strongest, but it doesn't matter as long as you're moving, as long as you're there, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do this and then make some food. And it's pretty late now, it's 9.30, so yeah, we'll get onto that, I'll show you what I have for dinner. Got the pasta cooking up there, and the steak. Uh, top tip, don't cook a steak with your top off, because it will splash back and hurt you, but, I've learned that probably about five years ago, but I still do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that wraps up the day. Sorry, I just literally, as soon as uh, I made the food, I just ate it and I crashed out on the sofa. Um, but that wraps the day. My body is actually really aching. Now, I had a really good superset uh, back workout yesterday. I'm really starting to feel the doms but one thing i have added into my daily routine is stretching for at least five to ten minutes before bed and that's actually helped a lot meaning that i don't wake up and i feel like i've been hit 
by a train because that's how I normally wake up. Uh, but yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, supplement video will be coming next, uh, going over all my supplements uh, for what I think is best for muscle building. Spoiler alert, it's not that much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.